When I came out of Bristol Vic, we didn't have what's available to us these days. You've heard me say this in our previous blogs. Uh, we had photographs, uh, our headshots, and CV in resume. That was it. There were no showreels in those days. Casting directors had to come to the theatre to see what you had to deliver. That's all changed. Now we have social media. Another great way to get yourself out into the marketplace. It can be very overwhelming. It was very overwhelming for me when I first realized and was told by my manager, you have got to adopt and adapt to this, this technology. You've got to embrace it. You've got to grasp it. You've got to use it and employ it to your benefit. And that is LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. There's so much, and there's an app and a website coming out practically every day. Lily, on the way out, can you give my friend a picture, please? Here we go. Five seconds. Four. Right into the camera. Good morning, America. Hi, my name is John Perkis, and this is Diary of a Failed Actor. I don't know whether you can hear, but behind us every now and again there's a scream because in the heart of Times Square, Good Morning America, the morning news program, is televised and recorded. Uh, Lily James has just appeared because this Friday Cinderella, Disney Cinderella opens. Lily James, famous for Rose out of Downton Abbey, and that, of course, has increased her presence as an actress. Uh, and she became the first call choice for Cinderella by Disney. Here I am in front of the camera very much embracing uh, social media and the internet and what it has to offer and, and getting oneself out onto the marketplace. I have actually cut back on my use of Facebook. I don't put any, I don't, I don't think I've ever actually put any personal images of myself on there, of me on holiday or at home with my wife. <laughs> my cats might occasionally appear on there, but I keep my personal life completely separate. Uh, so that gives me some privacy. Uh, when one is in such a public orientated profession, you do come to absolutely uh, appreciate uh, the treasure and the preciousness of one's privacy. Twitter and Facebook are very important because they can enable you to promote what it is that you are currently featuring in, whether you're on stage, whether you're in a TV episode or in a feature film. It's a way of making your audience aware of that happening and increasing your audience. On Facebook, you can also have fan pages as well as personal pages, and the fan page is very important. That you can totally dedicate to promoting yourself, promoting the work that you're about to be uh, appearing in, be it theater, television, or movie. Um, I really do advise with your personal page as well, be very careful what you put on there. Twitter is an extraordinary new realm that has grown up from Twitter. The, the, the numbers that you attract are now proving to be very important to uh, your career. Certainly, uh, Ashton Kusher took over from Charlie Sheen in Two and a Half Men, and one of the driving reasons that led to his engagement was the fact that he had 19 million Twitter followers. And so the producers thought, fantastic, we have 19 million more viewers that will be added to the numbers we already possess. It's all about numbers, it's all about money. However much you may detest that and want to uh, be evasive of, of that, you cannot. It's there, it's all part and parcel. People Google you these days. Uh, Google and YouTube are married together now. So if you've suddenly appeared on an episode or someone's made, been made aware of your existence, they will Google you to find out who you are, where you've come from, what you're doing, what are you doing next? A lot of casting directors ask for is an access to your website because it's much easier for them. Everything is there, it should be. Your demo reel for your voice, your demo reel show reel. Uh, people now have drama show reels, comedy show reels, period drama show reels. Your headshots, everything is in that website. There are lots of do-it-yourself 
uh, sites that enable you to design your own website if you want to. Or there are plenty of website designers out there from various levels of expenditure who will help you create that identity. It's about getting you out there. If you have to be put onto a red carpet, be prepared for that too. Uh, if you do a short film even, you have red carpet events where people want you to go in front of the camera and Q&As uh, afterwards. Be prepared to be present for those too. The reason I entered this profession, as you know from the previous blogs, is because I love doing what I do. And in pursuing doing what you love, there is that chance and opportunity that success will come knocking on the door and then, such as we witnessed back there with Lily James and another two TV stars, the public want to own you. They have a claim on you. They want a part of you. They want to have selfies taken with you. They want your autograph. They're going to call you by your first name because they believe they know you. You're in their front room once a week, maybe twice a week. Therefore, you have become a part, of the, a part of the family as much as part of the furniture. So you have to be aware of that and be prepared for that. And whilst you're in the midst of doing all of this, whilst you're re-imaging yourself, do not lose yourself. Do not lose the essence of who you are. Do not change to the level that you're unrecognizable because that again is your main selling factor. It's your personality. It's who you are. My name is John Perkis and this is Diary of a Failed Actor.